Now will you notice, he says here, receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. That's verse 10 here now of Proverbs 8. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all things that can be desired are not to be compared to it. When you and I come to the place, as Job did, for the price of wisdom is above rubies, when you and I get our priorities straightened out in our lives, when you and I put a proper valuation on the things of this world and begin to put God first, you see, God says, the minute that you begin to put him first, all these things shall be added unto you. Now, will you notice verse 12 now? Wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Now, we're going to find out the thing I've suggested. The Word of God's going to make it clear. Wisdom is a person. That person is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, will you notice, verse 13, the fear of Jehovah is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the mouth of perversions do I hate. Now, this is something that's quite real today, friends. This is something that's right down where you live. Wisdom is manifest. It's the character of God. And that character has been told out in Christ. And evil and pride and arrogancy and an evil way, they're hateful to him who's light and cannot abide in darkness. And we're going to have to turn from them if we belong to him. Now, verse 14, counsel is mine, sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign, and princes decree judgment. By me, princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. There is a statement back in the Psalms that is tremendous. The Most High ruleth in the kingdoms of man, he giveth them unto whomsoever he will. And Daniel repeats that, how tremendous it is. God overrules down here in the affairs of this world. It doesn't make any difference about the government down on this earth. If somebody says, my, I tell you, Russia is a godless nation. Yes, I think that's probably true. We're pretty far along ourselves, you know. But God's overruling. <laughs> He's overruling. His will's being accomplished. He ruleth in the kingdoms of man. Then verse 17, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Now, this is something that in the life of Solomon, he discovered that when he sought God, God gave him wisdom, and he sought him early when he became the king. And he knew that was true in his own life. Now, God gave him a unique wisdom. And there are great many that need that. I used to be very harsh on students that were so pious about their study of the Bible. They felt like that there's some sort of a miracle would take place in the study of the Word. Now, I believe that if you're willing to study the Word of God, that a miracle will take place that the Spirit of God will open your mind and heart. But until you are willing to meet that, there must be the love of God, the love of the Word, and then the seeking of Him early. And a great many have waited a long time in life, but they've just been saved, and that's seeking Him early. Now, verse 18, "...riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness." My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. These are wonderful gifts that are not to be put in a safety deposit box. They're not stocks or bonds. They're not real estate, but they're wonderful spiritual gifts that he bestowed. 